Hey! Yeah! Oh, boy. What's up? Like just laughing for some reason. <laughs> no. Yes. Hey! I'm like a whale. This one is from Pikaru. They ask, who cuts these videos? Smiley face. So Oscar does all of the editing and puts all the videos together. Um, and we both shot the travel footage and I shot the interviews. So. SK Ada says, what was your way to approach people and ask them for an interview? How did you select random people and go into a deep conversation? It was random. We would just select random people and we would say, hey, my name's Oscar, this is Alexa, this is what we're doing, this is why, would you want to talk to us? And a lot of the times people were interested in what we were doing and they were like, yeah, sure. Block 174 says, what kept you guys from dying of boredom? I feel like we didn't really have a whole lot of time to be bored. Even on long drives, we were listening to music, podcasts, books. So the only time we were ever really bored was when we were in these small towns that didn't have a whole lot to do. Emma Jane Burian says, was doing a road trip across America harder than you expected? Did you have expectations of what you thought it was going to be? I think at first it was hard because we didn't plan anything and we thought we could just go out there and wing it and figure it out as we go, but uh, that didn't work out. But it got easier once we got into a groove and into a rhythm. Jacob Dantzler says, what was the best and worst part of the whole trip? So for me, the worst part was um, driving through the rain. It rained a lot during our trip and especially at night, it was really scary. The best part was New Year's, because it just kind of so happened that we were going to be in New Orleans for New Year's, and there was like this huge party there, a free concert, like fireworks. Sarah McDowell asks, filming equipment and editing software? So the cameras we used were the Sony RX100 Mark III's, these little pocket cameras that were incredible. And for editing, I used Adobe Premiere. Isaiah says, why did y'all travel during the winter months? So looking back, it probably would have been better to travel during the warmer months, um, but the trip was kind of spontaneous, and so that's just how it lined up. Rainy Day Rider 23 says, what was your favorite state? Honestly, California, because there's just so much to see. You have San Diego, Los Angeles, uh, San Francisco, and all these great cities in between. And that drive up the coast was probably our favorite drive. Wow. Mohammed Sikander says, how has the trip changed your relationship? So I think we're definitely better at making decisions together. It was like every day we were deciding what are we gonna eat, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna see? And I think it's made us a better team. Yeah. Grab a hold of your phone, boy. Vivian Hollow says, how did you feel when the journey was over? I think a little weird at first, you know, being in one place for more than a few days took some getting used to. I mean, we got really comfortable in the car. It became kind of our, our home, you know? Yeah, I definitely miss being in the car, um, but I did miss my family and being in a regular routine, so it was really nice to get back into that again. Cynthia Perez says, did you find happiness and are you guys happy together? Yes, yes and, and yes. No. Kidding. 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 The answer is a yaw. So no, yes, we're still happy together. At least I am, I don't know. Yeah, I am too. But the most common question we got was, how did you afford this? How did you pay for this? And the truth is that we didn't pay for it. What happened was that me and Alexa, uh, we wanted to do this road trip, but we knew we couldn't afford it. And so I approached my friends at Soul Pancake and said, hey, I want to go on this road trip and I want to make these videos. Can we partner up and can you guys sponsor our trip? I said, sure. And so I would say, if you want to do a trip like this or any kind of big adventure and you can't afford it, find a way to use your talents and your skills to offer them to somebody else to get it sponsored or paid for. Uh, if not, there are tons of articles, blogs, and resources available that tell you how to travel for free or travel for cheap, and there's tons of people who do it. So there's always a way. If you really want to, you can. All right, and that's it, guys. Once again, thanks for watching the show. We hope you liked it. Um, all right, bye. Hi, I'm Alexa. I'm Oscar. And, and this is, is going. going there. And British is. Bye. Bye. So bad cake.